going to show you how to make a French fruit tart. I don't know, it's one of those, it just impresses people, it impresses me. Every time I'm in France, I would just be like, Katrina, in a patisserie, Katrina, what would you like? I'd be like, that one, like always point to get a fruit tart. So um, it's simple to make. I'll leave the uh, ingredients listed in the description box below this video. Uh, you just need a couple of the basics. So first thing you need, um, a pre-baked, so blind baked tart shell. This is uh, using a pate sucre, so a sweet pastry. I'll leave that video linked in the description bar, um, which is very easy to make. This is typically the one that they always use in the patisseries in France for this kind of tart. And I've then made it into this perfect looking tart shell. Again, that video, I'll let you into my secret as to how to achieve this perfect tart shell. It doesn't involve any of that, like rolling out, flour going everywhere, um, like thick bits, thin bits, long bits, stress. You need that firstly. Then we have pastry cream, um, which I made yesterday. I've just removed from the fridge. So first thing we want to do is remove our cling film, take an electric whisk, and we're going to beat it to eliminate all of the lumps. So now it's smooth and creamy and you can't see any more lumps. Then we're just going to take a piping bag, or you don't need to use a piping bag, you could just kind of pour it in and spread it. Uh, this just helps us to get it perfectly even. Just using um, a plain tip nozzle in the end, just twist the end so that it doesn't come out when you put it in. And put your cream into your piping bag. Push it down, like that, twist the end, twist, 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 and we're just going to pipe the cream in a disc to fill the entire shell. Next, we just want to place our fruit on top. So you can use any fruits you like, and you can place them. You can put them into any kind of decoration and pattern you like. Be as creative as you like, or you can be as unimaginative and as uncreative as you like. You can copy exactly what I'm going to do. Um, the only thing to bear in mind when you're arranging your fruit is you want to try to cover the um, pastry cream entirely. So first up, I've taken some yellow peaches and some white peaches. I've just sliced them and I'm now laying them all the way around the border so that they're overlapping slightly. To then make these apple fans, you want to slice one side off your apple. You then want to cut them into thin slices. Take the end off. Splay them out. Try to splay them out relatively evenly. And you can then position those into your tart. You can push them down into your cream. You can see then we're now starting to build up in the center of the tart. So I've put the rest of my peaches, I've put some apricots, some kiwis, um, now adding some strawberries. Try to put them at different heights, different angles. Really try to make it interesting. Just enjoy this part. Okay, so the final step is to glaze your fruit. So you can make your own glaze at home. All you need to do is take some apricot jam. You want to take some jam, I'll leave the quantities in the uh, description box down below. You want to put it into a little saucepan, you want to add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of water. You want to put it over the heat, stirring. Once it comes to the boil and it's all stirred and all mixed in together, then remove it from the heat, strain it through a sieve, um, and then you want to take a little pastry brush and you want to brush it over your fruit. The thing to bear in mind, if it's too hot when you use it, it will kind of run off your fruit. Um, if it's too cold, it will sort of jellify. So if it's too hot, just wait for a, for a moment or two or a minute or two. Um, if it's too cold, just warm it again slightly and you can brush it over the top. So then just brush your glaze all over your fruits. You want to get all of the fruits, all of the edges. You can be quite generous. I'm being very tentative here because I'm trying not to put my hand in front of the camera. The only thing that I'm not glazing are the apples. Um, just because I think it looks like a really nice contrast if you can leave those unglazed. The only thing to bear in mind is after a few hours your apple will begin, begin to discolour. So if you're not going to be eating your tart for quite a few hours then glaze your apple as well. So lastly you can just lightly dust the tops of some raspberries with some icing sugar and place those on top.
Before serving, you just want to return it to the fridge for an hour or two to let the cream set. Thank you for watching.